All right. Um, I've been wanting to talk about this for a while now. And what I mean to talk about today is Divi, the Divi theme from Elegant Themes, uh, the page builder, the whole ecosystem, which we have been using in our little web agency here for years. Uh, I think about three or four years ago, we got the lifetime deal and uh, we have been using it a lot for building websites for our clients. We've been buying into the whole ecosystem of third party Divi uh, plugin developers like Divi Engine, Divi Life, Divi Supreme, other kinds of stuff where we, where, where we have bought um, lifetime licenses. And we've been building with Divi for a long time. And uh, I originally came from other page builders and other themes. And when I came to Divi and I found out how great it was, uh, well, at least that's what I thought in the beginning. Divi was amazing. The whole theme builder experience, the way I could build templates, the way I could build like cool sites when I integrated it with uh, third-party Divi plugins, uh, such as the ones from um, from Divi Engine, which I've been using a lot. I was so happy and we started using it a lot and we were able to give our clients more or less what they wanted. But at some point, I also grew kind of tired of Divi because as you know, they are in the process or almost done rebuilding everything from scratch from the ground up because it had gotten slow, it had gotten laggy. And I totally welcome that. That was necessary. That is necessary. Although it's taken too long time, in my opinion. And that time has, they haven't really spent that time on implementing new features. Um, and that's a problem. They have implemented a lot of, uh, and when, I'm say, when I say them, I'm talking about elegant themes. They have implemented and, and now they're offering AI and cloud and all different kinds of things, which that's great. But it's not really, it, it feels like that they kind of, left us behind with uh, not implementing any new features. And they've been transparent about that. So that's that's fine and that's great. However, I started figuring out like, maybe this is not the best builder experience. Maybe there are better alternatives out there. So I'm not trying to bash Divi in this video. I just want to talk about an alternative that we have started using. So about six months ago, seven or eight months ago, maybe we bought the lifetime deal for Bricks Builder which has been a game changer. I had it lying around for about, I don't know, maybe three or four months or something like that before I really got into it and started watching tutorials and started learning how to use it. And as I said, it's been a game changer. It's so much better than Divi. And again, I'm not shitting on Divi. I just want to talk to you. If you're just getting into to web design and, or you need a new page builder or something like that, then you should go look at Bricks uh, Builder instead of Divi, I think. Um, we have decided not to continue building new websites. We're not going to, not at least until, you know, DB5 is up and running and uh, the compatibility is uh, is working well and they have added a lot of new features. Um, so we're just going to start new projects for our clients. Of course, we're going to maintain all of our clients' DB sites uh, and hopefully it's going to get better and easier and it's going to be more scalable in the future. But right now I can't really see that coming. I hope it's coming within the next year or two. Uh, but anyways, all of our new project sites, uh, client projects, we're going to start up in a Bricks Builder. And the reason for that is that Bricks is so much more versatile. First of all, the accessibility is so much better than Divi's. You can make accessible websites, which, by the way, is uh, uh, like in some countries you have to have. Uh, otherwise, you have to have accessible websites. Um, Otherwise, you can get sued and stuff like that. Anyways, accessibility is so much better. And it's not bloated like Divi is. Um, and then it's a class-based system. So I can add classes. I can use variables, CSS variables. I can do like almost anything that I can do by hand coding a project. Uh, maybe Bricks Builder is a little bit more... It's, it helps if you're a developer. If you know how to write CSS, JavaScript, HTML, it helps a lot. But it's so much closer to the core of that. You have so many more possibilities. For example, as I said, CSS variables. You can make variables, you can make your own little framework, and then you can set that up. And when you want to change something side-wide, you just change that variable or those classes that you can also work with. You don't have to go to every single page, every single module like you have to do in Divi um, to, uh, to change everything. Also, you can set up a blueprint from the beginning. You can say, okay, I want my sections to look like this. I want my H1, H2, H3, H4 to, to look like this. And I want it to be side-wide. Um, 
you have to do that in Divi. If you want to do that in Divi, you have to do it per module, which is not great at all. Um, so it's not really scalable using Divi. Um, also, there are the different breakpoints. You don't have custom breakpoints in Divi. You can create as many custom breakpoints you want in, in Briggs Builder. And I could go on and on and on, and I intend to, I guess. Well, I don't know. I'm just saying that that it's so much better to get set up and started with Divi. It's so, sorry, with Bricks Builder. It's so much more maintainable. It's so much more scalable. And it's just so fast, so much faster in, in almost any way. That's why we have made the decision to not really building, starting any new projects in, in Divi anymore. I really do hope that it's going to get better in the future because we bought all of this stuff and uh, we want to continue using it. And the support is great for Divi and all of, the third-party developers have also always given us great support and we've always been able to solve our problems. But it just seems too bloated and it seems like, you know, it's kind of like when you have an old car, like a 25-year-old 20, car, and you get a new one. Then you just start to find out, wow, this car is so much better. I don't have to do this. I don't have to do that. The old car, I had to, you know, I have to like start the engine uh, 20 minutes before I had to go somewhere. I had to, you know, do all of these different kinds of things before I could even get started. Like it's the same thing with bricks. When you when you learn how to use it, you just get started and and you set up everything and you can reuse a lot of different things. It actually even has query loops built in and filters and stuff like that. That is something that I have for Divi. I have to use the third party uh, plugin for Divi to, to do that. Um, and it's just great that everything works seamlessly. So I guess what I'm trying to say with this rant is if you're starting out building websites with a page builder, skip Divi um, and go directly to Bricks Builder. They still have a lifetime license and I can't remember how much it is, $500, $600, something like that. Maybe it's euros, I can't remember, but it's, definitely worth it and you should just make that investment and if you're an agency and you want to build cool websites in the future also you can see that uh, lots and lots of third-party developers are waking up and saying hey this new bricks builder thing that's pretty interesting we're going to make uh, more plugins for that so it's really widely supported already uh, and they're great groups and their support is great as well and I'm not affiliated in any way, shape, or form with uh, with Bricks Builder, and I still love Divi because that's kind of you know that's where I'm coming from. And uh, I really hope that they're going to add all of these features, you know, so you can use Grid, so you can use Flexbox, so you don't have these only I can't even remember the, these weird columns that you have. There, it's so limited right now. So uh, I hope that uh, we're going to get a better version of Divi when Divi five has been all sorted out and all of the bugs are are gone um, so they can start adding new features but uh, for now I'm gonna stick with uh, with Bricks Builder and uh, I'm also going to make some tutorials on this channel on how to get started using Bricks Builder Bricks Builder in the in the near future so uh, stay tuned for that and I hope you like the video if not it's okay if you do like and subscribe and all that stuff so thank you and see you soon bye